Guys, look at this flower. Look at this, look at this little flower. I'm calling him Bob. Hey guys, Kylie here. It's the weekend and change of scenery. I'm outside for change. <laughs> it's actually a really beautiful day. It's windy and the sun's out. I'm just uh, chilling. We've got our little daffodils here. They're so pretty. I don't even know where they came from. They just kind of popped up. So I haven't vlogged in a while and I wanted to today because I don't know, stuff's been happening with me, I guess? I don't really want to talk about all of it, just a little bit of it. So, uh, yeah, a few days ago I kind of had a little bit of an emotional breakdown, I guess? And that wasn't that fun. <laughs> and it made me realize that I don't actually um, open up to people about stuff that goes on with me. So I need to start doing that more. And I think that's a good thing to know about yourself is to know when you're not doing something right and to correct it, to correct what you're doing so that I think I'm too low. There we go. <laughs> I think it's a good thing to correct yourself when you're wrong, to admit your mistakes and to grow from them because if you just keep doing the same things over and over again, you're not really improving your life at all. You're just going with the flow of things instead of actually trying to actively change. So, I'm trying to change a few things in my life, and it's not easy. <laughs> my biggest problem is I need to change the idea that I have of myself where I feel like nothing I do is good enough at the moment. Right now, I'm it's kind of stuck in a rock and a hard place <laughs> and it's not fun and I would love to be out of it but I can't right now I have no way to get out of it right now so I need to figure out how to live where I am now so that way when I can live outside of this little rock garden that I'm hiding in then I'll have a better perspective of it. I'll learn how to notice the possibilities and how to see the good in things and I think that's a good thing to, to, to know how to do. I don't know, I'm rambling today. <laughs> it's so pretty! Sunlight! <laughs> I'm excited because spring's coming as you can see with the little daffodils we've got going down there. You can't see that. Spring's on the way and I am super excited because this year I actually am thinking about growing flowers and having my own garden and I'm gonna try and sell them at a local, local farmer's market because flowers are a thing. I love flowers. I just, Jesus, my camera is going everywhere. Stop it, when Stop it. I love <laughs> flowers. I don't know if you guys can even comprehend how much I love flowers. I think they're gorgeous. All types of flowers are just amazing. If I see a flower on the side of the road when we're driving, I literally want to throw myself out the window to pick it. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing, but I have enough self-restraint not to do that. I collect flower crowns. I draw flowers all the time. Um, whenever we're at a store and they have flowers out, I have to go near them and see them and touch them. I talk to flower. <laughs> I am basically a little flower child. And that's not a bad thing. It's one of the things that I like most about myself is my love for flowers and nature. And it's something I want to implement in my life. And I think that it would be a good idea for me to have my own garden, get out here in the sunshine, and breathe fresh air, and grow something. I'm always talking about growing, but I feel like I don't actually do much, most of it, and I want to change that. So I think I'll bring you guys out into my garden with me sometimes for some vlogs, because I'm actually enjoying this. Want to see where my garden's going to be? It's going to be right through here. It's nothing but pine cones right now, and it's underneath this huge pine tree, but pine needles are actually really good because they fertilize the ground, and... My neighbors have a fire going right next to a tree, those idiots. But pine needles are really good for fertilizing the ground throughout the year. That's why a lot of um, 
a lot of gardeners will put it on the ground so that way in spring the earth is really fresh and rich and you can grow stuff there. So I have like pre richened soil. I don't know if that is a word, but it is now. And I'm going to use that area to make a little garden, grow some flowers, and hopefully grow them into a little stall at the farmer's market. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that kind of stuff today and just sort of get some things that were on my mind out. Oh my god, there are blue flowers everywhere. Stop! Okay. Can you see the flowers? There's blue flowers all along here. Oh my god, I love flowers so much. I hope that everyone is having a great day. There is something in front of the camera. I hope that everyone is having a great day and thanks for joining me outside listening to me ramble about. There's a bee. <gasps> it's a little honeybee. The honeybees are coming guys. Spring's almost here. I'm so excited. Alright, I'm gonna get going. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.